What if it's really possible for you, not just for other people? What if you can really do it? The JoLynn Braley Show, episode number 152, Three Signs You Have Guaranteed Your Weight Loss Success. Welcome back to the JoLynn Braley Show. This is JoLynn Braley, permanent weight loss coach, weight loss mindset expert, which is 92.8% of the challenge right there. If you never do the work to get the right mindset, you're pretty much screwed. So don't do that to yourself. All right, get your head in the right place so that weight loss is no big deal. That's the work that I do with my awesome coaching clients in the Inner Self Diet. I help them end their binge eating and their emotional eating, end the struggle in eight weeks or less, and it's all about your inner self, okay? You've got to heal the root of the real problem. You've got to get the right mindset. You've got to do it from the inside out because this problem, I'll tell you what, it doesn't have anything to do with food, okay? The problems that you continue to have with out of control eating, food addiction, food obsession, all of these issues. And by the way, I've been there before, so I'm not judging you or criticizing you because I've been through the same thing. But I know that you don't have to stay there and you're not going to find the way out through another food diet. All right. Hey, maybe instead of just taking my word for it, just look at your own experience, look at your own results. Has a food diet ever ended your binge eating? Has a food diet ever ended your emotional eating? All right? So hey, if you want to lose weight and keep it off, the way that works is doing it from the inside out. That is what I've been doing with awesome coaching clients since 2009. It works every time, as long as you're actually in the inner self diet, doing the steps. Just listening to me talk about it here on my free weight loss podcast, this clearly is not the inner self diet. The inner self diet does require two-way communication. It requires just following the steps, keeping things simple. Hey, today I am going to share with you three signs that you have already guaranteed your weight loss success. But first, before we get to that, make sure that you grab my free download because it will give you three simple steps to start making weight loss easier from the inside out. You can get that at www.easyfunweightloss.com. Okay, so what are these three signs you have guaranteed your weight loss success? First, before I share these with you, do you notice what I'm saying in that that sentence, in that title? You are the only one who can guarantee your weight loss success. If you don't know how to end your binge eating, if you don't know how to stop emotional eating, then get coaching to do that and get it done. I'll share with you before we're done here how you can take your first step with me if you want help to do that. If you are willing to stop deluding yourself that you can do it on your own. Because hey, if you could have done it on your own, wouldn't you have already done that 10, 20, 30, 40 or more years ago? And the longer you tell yourself that you can do it on your own, what are the results that you get? What do you get from the isolation and the shame and the ongoing patterns of -of out-of-control eating? You know, sometimes you got to really get real with yourself. And this is not even a get real episode today. I do those once a month. Uh, This is a regular episode of the JoLynn Braley Show. But... um, I suggest you do listen to my Get Real episodes if you need to wake yourself up and stop lying to yourself. Because the truth is, hey, you know, weight loss is not rocket science. It is science. You do need to change 
how you eat, what you eat, how much you're eating. You only need to be putting fuel in your mouth when your stomach, your gas tank is empty. You should not be putting any fuel in your mouth when your gas tank is full. Food is fuel. Food is not the cure-all, end-all, be-all for all of your problems. And that is one of the big problems there, and you're not alone in it. But when you've never learned how to cope with life's ups and downs without using food to try to soothe yourself, then you'll be in a really big pickle. And this doesn't mean that you are stupid or unintelligent. I'm sure that you are very, very, very smart. You are very successful in your career or your business life, and you probably know more about nutrition than a nutritionist. Okay, so clearly information and intelligence, it's not the problem. There's something else going on. Does that make sense? And you're really, 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 really smart to reach out and get help to fix these problems and get them done in the least amount of time possible. The folks who continue to struggle on their own, well, you know, they'll continue to struggle on their own and you can't help them because they don't want help. So you just want to make sure that you don't hang out in that camp because, you know, what results do you get there? What ends up happening? So what are these three signs that you have guaranteed your weight loss success? Okay, you know for sure that you have full weight loss success. It's, it's coming up right in front of you. It's just right there on the horizon when, number one, you're already living healthy and fit right now. All right? It doesn't matter what time of year it is. Holiday season, 4th of July, Easter Halloween, it doesn't matter. You're not using any excuses. You're not telling yourself, oh, I'll wait until New Year's and make a New Year's resolution. No, 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 because you know that doesn't work. Never works. You can only stick with that for maybe, what, two weeks? Usually before then, by January 7th, that whole thing is kaput. So it doesn't matter if you're listening to me right smack dab in the middle of the big holiday season between Thanksgiving and New Year's. It doesn't matter if you're listening to me and it's June 2nd. It doesn't matter if you're listening to me and it's March 3rd. It doesn't matter. You're already living a healthy and fit lifestyle right now. You're not using the day of the week or the time of the year as an excuse. You're not blaming the time of year. You're not blaming the holiday season. You're not blaming the summertime. You're not blaming the heat. You're not blaming the cold. You're not blaming your kids. You're not blaming your husband or your job or the traffic or the grocery store. All right. You are just simply living healthy and fit and you aren't struggling with using food for comfort. Okay. You eat for fuel and it's not that you don't like what you eat, but food is not your world. Okay. Food has its proper place. You are normal with food. All right. And so even if you still have 40 pounds to release or 10 pounds to release, when you're already just living healthy and fit, it's not a big deal. You're not using excuses. You're not putting things off. You're not procrastinating. You're definitely not telling yourself, oh, well, I just got to get through the holiday season and then I'll make a big change because that never works. (laughs) If you're not able to live healthy and fit right now, no matter what time of year it is, then what's going to change later? And you already know this. Actually, if you really want to get honest with yourself, if you have ever told yourself that you would do it later, that's a big sign of addiction. It's just a basic, basic sign of addiction, whether you're addicted to food, alcohol, drugs, sex, TV, wasting time, whatever your addiction is, telling yourself later, just one more, let me just have one more cookie. No, I just need to finish that ice cream. Oh, well, I already bought that package of brownies and I just got to finish them and then I'll get started. Yeah, that's all. It's all addiction. But. If you're not doing any of that stuff, 
then it's a huge sign that your weight loss success is guaranteed by you because it doesn't even matter if you've got another 28 pounds to release. You are on the way because you're doing it right now. All right, so is this making sense? Is it, is it clear? Am I explaining it easily and, and simply enough? You know, basically what this comes down to is if you're already living right now as you would be living if you were already at your goal weight and you were going to maintain that the rest of your life, then you're golden. Okay, no binge eating, no emotional eating, just living healthy and fit, no big deal, no excuses, doesn't matter what time of year it is, and, you know, you're just doing it. You're the only one who can do your own push-ups, so there's no one else to blame for the state of your weight, and there's no one else to give a celebration to for the state of your weight, You know, I always share with my awesome coaching clients in the Inner Self Diet all of the successes that they have with the freedom they achieve from their lifetime of food and weight struggles, ending the emotional eating, ending the compulsive overeating, ending the binge eating, losing weight, all this stuff. Okay, they want to say to me, you know, I couldn't have done it without you, JoLynn. And they are right about that. However, I always give them back the celebration and the accolades for their success because all I can do is give them the tools that they need to succeed and I can give them the coaching and I could give them the objective feedback and the insights that I can see very easily that they cannot see because they cannot see their own blind spots. Nobody could see their own blind spots. In the end though, It's up to that coaching client for them to take action with what I give them. So in the end, they are always the ones responsible for their success. You know, I'm not going over to their house and making sure that they do the simple instructions that I give them. They do, you know, they have to take action for themselves. And so that's why I say that you are the only one who can guarantee your weight loss success, even when you work with the most magnificent rock star weight loss coach on the planet and you heal the root of your ongoing eating disorders and you totally get out of your own way and you move forward to lose weight and keep it off. Still, yes, I agree. You couldn't have done it without that rock star coach because you can't see your own blind spots, but you are the one who has to take the action. You know, nobody can do your own, nobody can do your push-ups for you. Does that make sense? And I hope that you're saying, why do you even, why are you even explaining this, JoLynn? Of course it makes sense. And I hope that that's what you're saying. But you know how many people out there don't get this? They are still looking for someone else to save them. They're looking for somebody else to fix them. And that's not what anybody can do. The best coach on the planet can give you the tools and the training and the road map. And all you have to do is plug yourself in and walk the path. And that gives you the empowerment to change yourself. Does this make sense? All right. And that's what you need if you want to get this done as fast as possible. You know, how do you put it all together on your own when you've never been able to do that? How does a book help you put all this together? How many books have you bought, but you never actually read them or you read them, but you didn't do what they said? Do you know what I mean? Is this make it sense? So, you know, if you want radically different results, you've got to do something radically different. You're super, super smart to reach out and get the coaching that you need to get the body and the life and the mindset and the awesome self-esteem, self-confidence and become this vision of you that you've always wanted to be. You are so smart to reach out to get help to get that done because the worst thing you can do is waste more precious time of your life, which you can never, ever, ever get back. You can always make more money. You can never get back all of the lost time 
the lost experiences, the lost opportunities when you were isolating, staying at home, refusing social engagements, refusing to go to your next level in your career because you feel so bad about your body and your weight. You can't get any of that time back. So you're super smart to reach out to get this healed and get it fixed and get that helping hand right now. All right, so I gave you the first sign that you've guaranteed your weight loss success. You're just simply already living healthy and fit. It's not a big deal and you're not struggling with eating disorders and you're using food for fuel, okay? So that is predicated on the foundation of the number two sign that you've guaranteed your weight loss success, and that is that you've already healed the root of the real problem. Because only by healing the root of the real problem can you end the binge eating and end the emotional eating, all right? So are you already aware of the fact that the mainstream diet industry has brainwashed you to think that all you need is another food diet? And if you just get excited enough and just use enough willpower and just stick with that food diet and just start it on Monday, that everything's going to be okay. All right. So how has that ever worked for you? Now, the one thing about the mainstream diet industry that they do get right is the fact that seven point, now they'll never say these uh, equations, they are addressing what is 7.2% of the solution. 7.2% of the solution is, yes, of course, you have to change what you eat, how much you eat, when you eat. You've got to change your lifestyle. You have to change your eating habits. You've got to change your exercise habits. That's the science part, but that's only 7.2% of the whole ball of wax. If you don't address what is 92.8%, the big, huge, hulking, white elephant in the room, if you don't address that, then you're setting yourself up for failure. And 92.8% of this whole game of weight loss, successful weight loss, it's all about your inner self. It's all about what's going on inside of you. It's all about your self-image, your self-esteem, your identity, your patterns of thought, your emotional states that you easily slip into because it's a habit. You know, uh, all of whatever it is that is the root of what is driving you to abuse yourself with food. You know, the root of the real problem is what needs to be healed. It's that root that drives your binge eating, drives your emotional eating, has put the fat on your body, and keeps you stuck in the struggle. That is what needs to be healed. Now, what the root of the problem is for you, I don't know. I don't know who you are unless I'm working with you personally and privately in the inner self diet. But if we're working together, you already know what the root is because I would have shared that with you. If you are not sure, ask me. Say, hey, I was listening to episode 152 of your podcast, JoLynn, and I'm not totally clear on what the root of my issue is here. If you shared that with me before, would you remind me? Go ahead, ask me. You know, you know, if you're working with me in the inner self diet, I don't hold anything back because I want you to succeed. You know that. Now, if you're not working with me in the inner self diet, you don't know that. (laughs) And I don't know what the root of your problem is, but it's the root of the issue that needs to be healed. That's where the healing needs to occur. And if you continue to avoid that, and hey, it's okay if you don't even know what it is. You know what's really neat is that with my coaching clients, we don't even always have to know exactly what it is. I'm not a therapist, Okay, this is all about coaching. This is all about, all about getting results. If you want to see some results that I have helped my awesome, awesome, awesome coaching clients get since I've been doing this work since 2009, if you go to fearlessfatloss.com forward slash blog and up in the menu bar, it says uh, testimonials. And as you click on that, 
there'll be a drop down and they, there's a, a whole long, huge page of written testimonials. There's a huge page of audio interviews that you can listen to with graduates of the Inner Self Diet. There's even a page on there with videos. Fearlessfatloss.com, that is my website that has my oldest content on it that uh, when I first started my mind-body weight loss business in 2007, I know that's a long time ago, isn't it? And here I still am. I guess I must be doing something, right? Huh? Otherwise, I wouldn't still be here talking on this podcast. And um, so I started my whole business in 2007. I started professionally coaching in 2009. And there's all these people that I guess that there's something I'm doing right here because they continue to have all these amazing breakthroughs. Um, you know, like Holly, who I coached in 2011, and she had been out of control with binge eating for over 30 years. Nothing she had done had worked for her. And she found me and she hired me to help her. She just followed my instructions. She broke free of the binge eating. She was 20 pounds overweight. She lost the 20 pounds and she's kept it off. And she still sends me updates and she's still doing great. She still has all of those tools right there for her to use at any time. If she were to feel that she was getting off track at all, she's got the roadmap to get right back on track. So that's where the power is. You don't have any power in a place where you just stumbled into success and you have no idea how you got there. The power is in knowing how you got there and exactly how to get back if you ever get off track. So yes, head on over to fearlessfatloss.com forward slash blog. Click on that menu where it says testimonials if you want to get inspired to what is actually possible if you were to learn how to heal the root of the real problem that keeps you stuck in all of this struggle with food and your weight. Okay, so number three sign that you have guaranteed your weight loss success is you actually really enjoy living a healthy, a healthy lifestyle. And food is not the enemy for you. Food is just fuel. So this kind of overlaps the first sign a little bit, but this one here, this sign is more focused on how you emotionally feel and clearly how you think about living a healthy lifestyle. So when you are really, really enjoying taking care of yourself, it's not a burden. You don't complain about it. You don't whine and and say, oh, I'm missing out. Oh, I'm so restricted. Oh, look at them. They get to eat that. I can't. There's none of that stuff. None of that stuff. Because that's just all whiny butt. And whiny butt is part of the problem. That's one part of the problem. I don't think I've ever used that phrase before. But it's true. You know, you're not going to achieve awesome success with your weight and maintain that for the rest of your life, you're not going to do that being a whiny butt because whiny butt only leads to more complaining and a fat mindset. A fat mindset is a mindset grounded in F-A-T, fear attracting thoughts. So what would a whiny butt be afraid of? They're afraid of all kinds of things. They're afraid of missing out. They're afraid that, uh, oh, what are other people going to think of me because I'm not eating what they're eating? And they're afraid that if they eat this, they'll gain weight. If they don't eat this, they'll gain weight. They should eat this. It's it's all just a, a major head game mindset madness. And actually, this is a really great example of why I have had some coaching clients who were not even technically overweight, but because they had not healed the root of the problem yet until they did the inner self diet, they were still in all of this massive struggle in their head. And what kind of peace and freedom is there in that? You know, how much fun is that to just lose weight, but you hate it? And you're all caught up in all of these obsessions and dreaming about cupcakes and then regretting your life every day because you're not eating the cupcakes. 
I mean, what is that about? That's not any fun. And that's not going to give you true weight loss success. There's no inner peace in that. There's no joy. There's no happiness. It's just all whiny butt. All right. So hopefully you are tracking along with me here and you're able to say for yourself that all of these signs that I'm giving you that you have guaranteed your weight loss success, you're already living healthy and fit right now. You're not using any excuses. You do not blame the time of year. You don't blame other people. You're definitely not whiny butt about this whole thing. You've already healed the root of the real problem. You've already gotten coaching. You've ended your binge eating. You've ended your emotional eating. You've worked with the right coach. You eat for fuel and you enjoy what you're eating and you really, really enjoy living a healthy lifestyle. Food is definitely not the enemy. You're able to be normal with food and you're mainly focused on living your best life and fueling your body at an optimum level to live your best life. And that's what you're really focused on. And if you can meet all of these signs, then you have definitely, you're rocking it. You have guaranteed your weight loss success. You are doing an awesome job. And if I were you, I would call up your coach that you've worked with who helped you get to this point, who helped you heal the root of the real problems so that now you're free of any kind of an eating disorder and you're just normal with food, I would call up that coach today if I were you. I'm suggesting you do this and thank them again for being on the planet and thank them for putting themselves out there so that you could find them whenever, how long ago did you work with them? Was it a year ago or five years ago or however long it was? And um, just thank them for helping you to get to where you are because how could you have ever broken free without their help because you, you can't see your own blind spots? And then congratulate yourself, though, for taking the action to get to where you are taking action with those steps and that proven system that your coach gave you in the past because that's how you got to where you are and that's how you have guaranteed your weight loss success. I recommend that you go to the mirror and look yourself in the eyes and say to yourself, hey, I am so thankful for you believing in me. You're saying this to yourself. I'm so thankful that you believed in me and that you thought that I was worthy enough to get the coaching that I needed, however long ago it was. How long ago did you do that? A year ago, three years ago? Uh, you know, you can only say to yourself in the mirror what's true. But thank yourself for believing in yourself enough to get that coaching that you got to heal the root of the real problem and for you to be standing where you are right now, struggle-free with just living a healthy lifestyle and being able to be focused on your best life, building your best life. And, and food is what fuels your body to make that best life instead of where you were in the past, where you were so caught up with food being everything and making all the excuses and blaming the holiday season or blaming the summertime or blaming the weather or blaming other people or making excuses, all of that struggle that you were caught up in in the past, if you have broken free of this now, congratulate yourself for that, all of this success in the mirror, looking in your own eyes. Who else could have taken the action that you have taken to get to where you are? All right. Now, on the flip side of this, if you're listening to me saying, I can't say any of that because I haven't done any of this. Well, uh, let's take a short commercial break and then I'll give you some questions you can ask yourself to discover more about what's going on with you. It is time for a commercial break here on the JoLynn Braley Show. This week's sponsor is my free ebook, which you can download immediately at www.easyfunweightloss.com www.easyfunweightloss.com in my free ebook, you'll get three simple steps to start making weight loss easier from the inside out. These are not your typical tips that you get everywhere else. These are tips to help you start making your journey easier. 
And you can get that now at www.easyfunweightloss.com. All right, I have a couple questions for you to ask yourself. Grab pen and paper to get the most out of this. I agree with Tony Robbins, who says you will never learn by just listening. You've got to get the pen. You've got to get the paper. It helps you get present with yourself. It helps you to get out of your head, to stop spinning in the anxiety and the worry and the fears and the drama and the struggle and to just get present, get focused Spend just a few minutes with yourself and get totally honest with yourself to evaluate where you are and where you are going. So the first question, write each question down and then write the answer down and then uh, just pause the podcast as you need more time. First question, how many of the signs that I've guaranteed my weight loss success, how many of the signs am I matching up with? One, two, three, or zero? Number two question, if I answered less than three, then what's my action plan to line up with all three? What's my specific step-by-step proven action plan to be able to line up with all three signs to show that I'm guaranteeing my own weight loss success? Number three question, am I being whiny butt? And if I am, What are all the ways that I'm being whiny butt? How is whiny butt ever going to help me drop the fat and keep it off? Pause the podcast as you need more time. Obviously, you have to be willing to get totally honest with yourself in answering these questions. You're not going to get anywhere by deluding yourself or rationalizing any answers. Whenever you rationalize, you are telling yourself rational lies oh, it's not the right time of year. Okay, when exactly is the right time of year? Ding, 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 ding. There never is one. There's always something. Oh, well, Halloween. I can't do it now because it's Halloween. Uh, uh, Oh, oh, no, no. Now it's Thanksgiving. Oh, 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 can't start anything new. Oh, my God, it's Christmas. Oh, it's New Year's. Uh, Got to wait until after New... Oh, well, not the first day of January because that's actually a holiday. So I'll get started on January 2nd. Oh, my God, I've got to go back to work. Uh, Let's see. Oh, I got to wait till Monday. Oh, my God, Valentine's Day is coming up. There's no way I can start anything now because it's Valentine's Day. And Oh, no, it's Easter. Oh, I love those little cream eggs and the little peeps. And oh, yeah, I can't really uh, get anything going right now. Maybe on Monday. Oh, my God, it's Memorial Day week. Oh my God, the, the weather's getting nice. And, and, uh, oh geez, I, I got to hurry up and get 40 pounds off because, um, yeah, well, I, I want to, I want to look better on the beach. Oh my God, it's a 4th of July. I can't make any changes now. I'm just gonna, you know, maybe, maybe it'll get cold at night and I could just cover up with a sweatshirt so nobody could see how much weight I've gained. And, uh, I'll get started on Monday. I'll get started on my, oh no, it's, it's Memorial Day weekend or no, it's not Memorial Memorial Day. It's Labor Day. Oh my God, I'm all confused because all I do is use the time of year as an excuse to keep my food addiction alive. But I don't want to say that to anybody because I don't want to be honest because I just want to keep eating because eating food is more important to me than my goals of becoming my best self in my best body. Let's just get real. What's the truth? All right. And that's really the truth. Okay. If food is your higher priority, than your goals, then accept it. At least be real with yourself. And if that's how you want to live, and if that's how you want to continue, great. Stop telling yourself and telling everybody that you're working on losing weight because you're clearly not. Hey, this should be a get real episode because then I would have warned you at the beginning of today's podcast not to listen if you're looking for excuses to fail. But it just flowed out of me because it was so perfect because it's so true. It's so true. You know, weight loss is not rocket science. Anybody can do it, but you got to do it. And if food is more important to you, if you'd rather keep food as your main guy in your life, and your lover, your best friend, your if if you want to keep food as oh it's it soothes everything and makes everything all better, then do that. 
Who cares? Nobody else cares except for you. Really, it's your body. It's your life. It's your time on this planet. And if that's how you want to live, then just, you know, it's all up to you. But maybe it would be better to stop deluding yourself and stop telling yourself lies that you're actually working on losing weight when you're not. You know, hey, what do you say about that? And it's not about being mean to yourself and it's not about judging yourself. It's just, hey, what are you doing? You say you want to lose weight, but you're not doing it and you keep putting it off. And then you say you're going to get help. You say you're going to get coaching, but you never do it. And you use excuses. Oh, time. Oh, I don't have the money. Of course you have the money. You've got all the money to spend on whatever you want to spend it on. It's all about values. And if you don't value yourself high enough to get this thing that you keep saying you want, then obviously you don't really want it. And you want the food more. And if food's more important to you, then maybe become a chef. I don't know. You know, there was this guy in the grocery store working there who was uh, trying to give me these suggestions for all of these dessert recipes. And I was thinking, well, I'm not going to make all this stuff. But I was listening to him and he was very overweight. And um, I said, hey, you know what? It sounds like you are very passionate about this. Have you ever thought of becoming a pastry chef? He says, oh, you know, I've had a lot of people say that, um, but yeah, I haven't done that. I said, why not? You know, if, if that's your thing, if you're so, and now I'm talking to you, not the guy at the grocery store, but you listening to this podcast, if you're so wrapped up in food and you want to make food your number one thing in life, then why don't you just go for it and find a way to do that and stop looking for all these ways to lose weight? You know, I'm just saying. And uh, otherwise, get real with yourself. How are you going to do this? Here's the next question to uh, write pen on paper. Where am I going to be a year from now if I just keep doing what I'm doing right now? I keep telling myself I can do this all alone. I keep telling myself I'll do it after this date, after this time, after this season. And it just keeps rolling on. Rolling, 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 keep those doggies rolling, 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 ride. It's a really old show. <laughs> I think it had Clint Eastwood in it. But um, yeah, I mean, where are you going to be? What's going to change? Flashing sign, flashing neon sign. Ain't nothing going to change unless you make a change, dude. You know? Hey. And if you're happy with your results, then you know what to expect if you just keep doing what you are doing now. Flip side, next question. What is this number five? I've lost count, but you've got them all on your pen, uh, your paper and where you're writing pen on paper. If you're not writing pen on paper, why not? If you're not even willing to just take a couple minutes to get with yourself And be honest with yourself. This has actually turned into like a get real episode, hasn't it? But if you're not willing to get real with yourself, it takes just a few minutes with yourself. How are you ever going to be willing to value yourself high enough to do what it takes to achieve permanent weight loss? Because permanent weight loss is not going to be found in another new diet on Monday. So next question, where could I be a year from now if I were to just pony up Stop being whiny butt and do whatever it takes to get out of my own way, to heal the root of these food and weight problems I have, to heal my eating disorders so that I can just get normal with food, live a healthy lifestyle, and become my best self, lose weight, keep it off. Where could I be a year from now? Where could I be? Write it all down. What could you weigh? What would you look like? How would you feel about yourself? All of it. What, what kind of work would you be doing? What would your bank account look like? All of it. You do realize that money and your weight and your self-esteem and your identity and your self-worth, all of this is connected. Sex, relationships, all of this. Everything I just said is all connected. Last question. How high 
is my self-worth right now? How high is my self-worth right now? And the way that you know this is by your actions and also by your thoughts and also by your emotional state, which are all connected. But if you're not taking the action that you need to raise your self-esteem, to raise your self-confidence, to raise your level of belief in yourself, if you are not doing whatever it takes to get the coaching that you need to end your food and weight struggles once and for all, why do you need coaching? Because it's the quickest path to get out of the struggle and to get into the freedom because you can't see your own blind spots. Nobody can. Coaching is only for winners, though. Coaching is only for the smart people who are, they they have to value themselves high enough and know that they deserve better. So how high is my self-worth right now? That's what you are asking yourself. And, And you could tell that by your actions, your behaviors, your thoughts, and your emotional state. All right. These are all really, really good questions to Ask yourself, if you took the time and you wrote all these down, pen on paper, and you wrote your answers down, go to the mirror, look yourself in the eyes and say, you rock. You're saying this to yourself. Say, thank you, thank you, thank you for believing in me enough to take the time to be just with me. That's really awesome. Hey, let's wrap up this podcast here that kind of turned into a get real episode But hey, you didn't need any of the end of this. If you fit all of the three signs that you've guaranteed your weight loss success, then you didn't even need any of this uh, on the end because you're already rocking it. Yeah. If you want help to break free of your food and weight struggles, to end the binge eating and the emotional eating, to get normal with food so that you can finally lose weight and keep it off. If you'd love to stop asking yourself, why am I so smart? and I know exactly what I need to do to lose weight, and I've got all this wonderful career success, business success. Clearly, I do not have a problem of intelligence, but I have never been able to get it together with the food and weight thing. If you want to stop trying to figure that out, which you can never figure out analytically because it's not an analytical problem, and if you actually want to fix this, and get it done as fast as possible, then your first step is to go over to www.discovery-session.com, www.discovery-session.com, and complete an application to get on the phone with me for a complimentary one-on-one weight loss discovery session. And the way that you do that is you enter your first name and email at discovery-session.com. And then on the next page, there'll be a big red button that you need to click. That will open up the application. I highly recommend that you complete each of the questions with full details to ensure that you actually get a chance to get scheduled for a one-on-one, 100% complimentary weight loss discovery session with me. It is an application process because the calls are complimentary. And just like you have a very busy life, I only have very limited numbers of these that can be offered per week. Tops are three per week, and that's not very many. So you want to make sure that if you really are serious about this, that you complete those questions in the application fully and completely. Hey, I'm JoLynn Braley, permanent weight loss coach, founder of the amazing Inner Self Diet, the diet that actually works because it's not a food diet, it's not an exercise program. Instead, what it does is it heals the root of the real problem. And I wish you your best life living inside of your ideal body. Bye.